Uh, Leo Cullen, uh, a 40-21 win in the Bank of Ireland pre-season friendly against Harlequins. Uh, if the supporters saw that in two weeks against Bulls, I think they'd leave pretty happy. But would Leo Cullen leave pretty happy? Um, yeah, it was good. there's lots of good stuff in the game, I think. Um, you know, pre-season games, they're, they're challenging. The first thing is, you know, you're, you're trying making sure you pick up no injuries and you know, there's a little bit of luck involved in that. So I think we came through relatively OK. Uh, Chris, took a, Chris Cosgrave took a bang, um, but he's OK. It was more his neck. Um, than anything, um, Reese came off in the first half with his cap, but again, it was he just felt a bit of cramp. So at least that's what we think it is. So um, overall, the, the guys are have come through pretty well. Um, it's valuable minutes is a, is a big thing. So, um, but yeah, some lots of pleasing things. Certainly, some of the attack in the first half was nice and dynamic, um, and yeah, created some good opportunities. So, um, so yeah, some some individuals did. I thought showed well during the course of the game so um, and a number of players represent Leinster for the first time albeit it's, it's a it's a pre-season friendly um, but yeah no it was, it was good you know Harlequins are a team that like to move the ball around and um, very very threatening um, and they did test us out defensively on a number of occasions so uh, I thought guys scrambled reasonably well um, disappointed maybe with one or two of the tries in the second half but um, yeah, overall pre-season, it's, we're, we're pretty pleased. Uh, second half, a little bit disjointed with all the substitutions on both sides, to be fair. But the first half, I mean, it was really Chris Ruby at times. And to go in at halftime, 28-7 ahead, Johnny kicking four from four. You couldn't really have asked for more for the opening 40. Yeah, no, there's some really good stuff. Um, you know, Quinns had played last week, so against Cardiff. And, you know, they, they had a slow start. And we we looked a lot of Quinns towards the end of last season. Um, so they were always a threat to come back. I think it was, what, 26-0 they came from behind to get in in the semi-final of the Premiership, um, you know, so they 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 can back themselves right to the very end, and yeah, as you say, like I think, which is a normal course um, with lots of change in the second half, guys coming on and off, and um, you know that's sort of a pre-plan just to try and cap some of the minutes for a few guys. Um, but yeah, no, overall, yeah, as I said, we're pleased. Um, but yeah, there's still plenty in it as well now that we can pick apart. But it's nice, you know, because you train all pre-season, work on lots of different things. But then you get to see it in real life opposition against you know someone that doesn't know your moves, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, yeah, there's plenty of learning in it for a lot of our guys, which is which will be good. Uh, don't have any game next week, but um, you know, we'll, we'll still train hard and you know, hopefully we could get a decent crowd now for the Bulls game. As you say, like it's you know, Bulls are playing a final this weekend, so they're a very battle-hardened team. Um, and that's one of the big challenges, you know, we're, we're against when you play a South African team early. So our guys will be a lot less, have a lot less miles on the clock at that this stage of the season. So um, we just need to make sure we prepare well over the course of the next couple of weeks. So that'll start by watching how the Bulls go this weekend in the final against uh, no McNamara's uh, Sharks team. So um, we'll have a bit of inside information, hopefully from him. But um, yeah, no, it's it's um, it's an exciting start now to the competition against the Bulls, who are. You know, you know, for for me personally, we watched so much Super Rugby, um, and you know the Bulls, like how strong a team they were, um, back in the day of Super Rugby, um, and still to this very very day, you can see obviously in the Curry Cup how strong a side they have. Obviously coached by a World Cup winning coach as well, and Jake White, um, so they have a ton of experience there. So, um, yeah, huge challenge for us, and it was amazing to see support here today, and hopefully we have a uh, a big bumper crowd here in a couple of weeks. You mentioned uh, earlier, Leo, about. Uh, lads wearing a Leinster jersey for the first time, albeit not in a competitive match, but it nearly felt like the start of something special for the likes of Conor O'Brien, Max Deegan, Brian Deeney, lads who've been out for so long with serious injuries. Credit to them, but also the backroom staff who put so much of their own time professionally and personally into the rehab of those players and many others. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you know the relationship. I think yeah, with the backroom team, particularly some of those long-term injured guys, um, you know Max and. Um, Conor O'Brien and Brian Deeney like yes yeah, so some serious long term injuries so it was great to see those guys back and get some decent minutes um, you know Brian you know even representing Leinster for the first time so a uh, great day for him um, and Wexford as well so no really really good story for him um, so hopefully all those guys go on can kick on now um, off the back of that and just finally Leo you mentioned the crowd seeing the blue, hearing the noise. Uh, there was just shy of 10,000 here this evening. We'd hope for double that, if not a little bit more, for the Bulls in a couple of weeks. We'll see what uh, what, what the government signs off on, but it'd be brilliant to see so many more fans in here in two weeks' time for the visit of the Bulls. Yeah, it was, it was strange like to drive down, because <laughs> all the games, you know, you drive to the games all during last season, you arrive down, there's like, like it's... The streets are deserted, really, uh, coming into an empty stadium. So to see people milling around the streets and obviously when you see you come into the ground and hear the cheer. So, um, 
but yeah, no, we're we're hoping just to build on that now, and um, you know, it's, the team obviously get a great buzz off the uh, support and. Hopefully that relationship will continue to grow over the course of the season. So, yeah, that was a great starting point.